Um, Ms. Merrill, I'm looking at an article you wrote in The Breach in 2017. You said, I'm going to quote, it's inconsistent to denounce white supremacy but not repudiate voter ID laws. Did you say that? Thank you for the questions, Senator. You're welcome. I believe that was an interview I gave in the days after Charlottesville. Right. And I and I believe those statements were in turn I was it was in my role as an advocate regarding my work uh, representing voters in Alabama challenging. So you them. didn't mean them as a person? I made them in my role as an advocate. Do you mean them as a person? I'm not asking you in your role as an advocate. Do you believe that if you're against white supremacy, you have to be against voter ID laws? Senator, in my role as an advocate, I have to Ma'am, I'm not asking you about this. It wasn't the case. I'm asking you what you believe. And I don't appreciate you dodging my question. Now, this is, this is a serious position you've been nominated for. Do you believe that someone who is against white supremacy also has to be against voter ID laws? Senator, no. The Supreme Court has held that photo what ID law... What do you believe? The, I believe that the Supreme Court has held what that photo... What do you believe personally? I believe that photo ID laws have been held to be constitutional. Do you think voter ID laws are appropriate or inappropriate? I believe those are, are questions that uh, election officials... Do you believe that voter ID laws are appropriate or inappropriate? I believe that photo ID laws have been held to be constitutional. I believe there are cases in which what they are... What do you believe? I believe there are cases in which they are appropriate. What do you believe? I also believe there are cases what do you in believe? which they can... What do you believe? Do you Senator, believe? let her answer, please. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. We both know what's Denise, going on, this, Mr. Chairman. Let her complete the why, why, Well, let me do my own questioning, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your help, Professor. Um, do you believe that voter IDs laws are appropriate or not? I believe there are circumstances where photo ID laws can be constitutionally implemented, and I believe that the Supreme Court has also held that there are circumstances when they would not be constitutionally permitted. Okay. All right. Ms. Uh, Ms. Shudri. Saying your name right? It is Chaudhry. Chaudhry. Thank you for correcting me. Thank you. Uh, in 2015, you were on a panel at Princeton University. Um, you said that uh, the killing of unarmed black men by police happens every day in America. Did you say that? Senator, I don't recall a statement, but it is something I may have said in that context. You, you think it happens every single day? Senator, I believe in that, in that statement. I was making a comment in my role as an advocate, and I was engaging in rhetorical advocacy, which But do, do you believe that police officers kill unarmed black men every day in America? Senator, I believe the killing of unarmed citizens by law enforcement is tragic, and I believe in that instance I think it's I tragic, was... too, but do you believe, uh, this is a really simple question, Counselor, do you believe that cops kill unarmed black men in America every single day? You said it at Princeton. Senator, I said it in my role as an advocate. Oh, okay. You didn't mean it. Senator, I said it in my role as an advocate to make a rhetorical point. So, so when you say something that's, that's incorrect, it's okay to excuse it by saying, oh, I was being an advocate? What do you believe? Do you personally believe that cops kill unarmed black men every single day in America? Senator, I believe law enforcement have an important and challenging job in this country. That's not what you said, though, counsel. Senator, I say before you here today that I do believe law enforcement have a difficult and challenging job, and I also understand the difference between... I just between think that's an extraordinary statement to make with no data to back up. No, none whatsoever. There's no basis for you saying that. And you knew it then and you know it now. How can someone possibly believe that you're going to be unbiased on the federal bench? Senator, I believe my record shows that I have worked collaboratively with law enforcement in Boston, Chicago, Mississippi, and Milwaukee to solve complex problems to promote constitutional, 
effective and your safe Your record policing. shows that you believe cops are guilty until proven innocent. Your record shows that if a cop, if, 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 if a uh, cop shoots a criminal, it's the cop's fault. And if a criminal shoots a cop, it's the gun's fault. I've read your record. I've read your record, Ms. Murrow, and I don't appreciate you not answering the question straight up. I would respect you a lot more if you'd just tell us what you believe and not try to hide it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.